Hi, aloha. Welcome to A Course in Miracles. We're in the workbook for students and we're doing lesson 86. These are the review lessons. We're reviewing lessons 71 and 72. Only God's plan for salvation will work and holding grievances is an attack on God's plan for salvation. So let's start with only God's plan for salvation will work. It's senseless for me to search wildly about for salvation. I've seen it in many people and in many things. But when I reached for it, it wasn't there. I'm sure we can all in one way or another relate to that statement. <clears throat> I was mistaken about where it is. I was mistaken about what it is. I will undertake no more idol seeking. Only God's plan for salvation will work. And I will rejoice because His plan can never fail. Now, of course, you remember that what is God's plan for salvation? And where do we find it? And the Course has kind of been leading us up to see that we've been looking for salvation outside of ourselves. And We've been looking for salvation in something out there in the world somewhere, something to save us, something to make us happy, <clears throat> something to make us healthy. And all the while, the Course is saying that salvation is within us. And that salvation is discovering our real self and our function to accomplish that is through forgiveness through letting go of grievances and through making another choice instead of choosing the ego and it's plan for us, its plan for our salvation, which it has a plan for our salvation. And its plan is basically death, you know. But God's plan for salvation will not fail according to what the Course says. So here's some suggestions of suggested forms for applying this idea specifically. God's plan for salvation will save me from my perception of this. And whatever the this is in your life right now, whatever you feel like you need to be saved from, <clears throat> whatever your perception is of this, you know, if it's a health issue or a money issue or friendship issue, whatever it is, a mistake, you have a perception of it. And if it's a perception that you need to be saved from it. Well, God's plan with salvation will save you from this perception. Because, and why perception? Because everything in this world is only something that we projected and it's in our mind and it's something that we perceived. It's not really the truth. It's not really 
reality, although it seems very real. So what we need to be saved from is our perception of an illusion. In other words, we just need to see the truth, <laughs> the truth about ourselves and the truth about whatever it is we think we're in. So, there is no exception in God's plan for my salvation. Or let me perceive this only in the light of God's plan for salvation. So whenever, you know, whatever you may find yourself in, if you happen to have, be having a bad day, or maybe it's just your thoughts are tormenting you with some fears or disappointments or regrets or whatever, these are the ideas for today that you can use and apply them to those ideas, the this that it speaks about. And then in, later on in the day, in the afternoon, in the evening, we're going to use this idea. We're going to review the idea of holding grievances is an attack on God's plan for salvation. So let's see what it says about holding grievances being an attack. Holding grievances is an attempt to prove that God's plan for salvation will not work. So how about that? When we hold a grievance, we may not be realizing it, but that's what we're doing. We're attempting to prove, because God has a plan for our salvation. It says in the previous one, we not, we're not really sure what it is, but whatever it is, it's God's plan, and it's the only one that we've been told will work. Well, grievances is a way of trying to prove to ourselves that God's plan won't work. It kind of reminds me of like someone telling us something, you know, like, oh, this is, this will work. If you try this, this will work, guaranteed to work. And we start in our mind coming up with all the reasons, all the grievances that we've experienced and thoughts about why this won't work. So why even try it? So that's kind of what grievances do. Yet only his plan, God's plan, will work. By holding grievances, I'm therefore excluding my only hope of salvation from my awareness. So it's like the example we just used when someone says, if you'll do this, it'll work. And it'll get you out of this situation that's really bothering you. And and we're just like, no, it won't work. I know I've tried that before, blah, blah, blah. And so we just rule it out. We already decided it won't work because of our grievances. And that's what grievances do. It keeps us, it makes us exclude the only plan that will work. And it's God's plan. So. Let's do this. I will no longer defeat my own best interest in the this insane way. I would accept God's plan for salvation and be happy. And specific applications for this idea might be in these forms. I'm choosing between misperception and salvation as I look on this. So whatever it is, you know that the thing that you're feeling a grievance about today in your mind or will feel a grievance about, something may happen, just look at it and tell yourself, 
All right, I am choosing between a misperception and salvation. As I look on this. If I seek grounds for grievances in this, I will not see the grounds for my salvation. This calls for salvation, not attack. This calls for salvation and not attack or attack thoughts. So we're getting there, you guys. We're, we're really getting to some of the heart of the matter of what salvation is and how to recognize it, how to become aware of it, how to really begin to deal with all the things in our life that cause us grievances, cause us to worry or fret or or attack someone or something or or ourselves and this is exciting really exciting because we're moving towards happiness we're moving towards flowing in our function of forgiveness which is our happiness so I'm excited for me I'm excited for you. And thank you so much for, you know, hanging out with me and doing this course with me. Because we are one. And I send you love today and peace. And I will see you tomorrow. Mahalo.